Hey, this is Sophie and today is episode three of Taking Charge of the Change. So we are currently in this time of the coronavirus. It's all over the world. And I'm not gonna lie, every morning I check the news and I see are things getting better, what's being done, all of this. And I noticed the few first days that I started doing this, it really started scaring me. It like I went down what I called the rabbit hole because it felt like I couldn't get any light, I couldn't get any air. It was really dark. So at first I stopped doing it. I was like, I'm not gonna rush the news, but it's not not reading the news is kind of dis distancing myself even more from the rest of the world. So that just didn't work. So the next time I started reading the news, what I checked was. Who do I think I am? Do, who do I know myself to be before I read the news, right? And when I started doing this, something very interesting happened. I actually perceived where I was only being given half of the information or where the information was correct in the moment that the person was writing it, but maybe not correct an hour or two later because this is something that's evolving all the time, right? Change is by definition evolutive. By definition, it's going to change. And so when you're dealing with change, you cannot expect things to be the same way an hour or two later or a day later or a week later. So this is really what I wanted to talk about today is remind yourself who you are before you read the news, before you go and check out what's going on in the world. Because if you don't, the world is going to define you instead of you deciding who you are first. And when I mean who you are, I'm not saying how you define yourself or what you do in the world. This is a big, big distinction we have to make. Who you are is not what you do in the world. It's not even your role as a mother or as a daughter or as a friend. That's not who you are. What I'm speaking about is really your true identity. Who do you say you are? So for instance, because of my faith, I know I am a child of God. And as such, I have access to information. I have access to abilities and, and help and support for, for supernatural abilities, supernatural support because I am a child of God, right? Now, that's what I believe. It may not be what you believe or what you know. That's what I know. So I'm asking you right now to just take a moment, maybe take the day after all, if you're home, why not? Take the day and decide and choose for yourself, who do you say you are? And then go and interact with the world, whether it's through news or maybe a Zoom meeting online, whatever it is that you have to do today, before you do it, make sure you know really with certainty who you are. And if you need help doing this, let me know because I can help you doing this. Now, I just want to say something. Um, I've been doing self-development for a long, long time. I think probably 16, 18 years, I would say. And I love self-development. It's been so helpful and I have gained so many skills and I have done so many things. It's awesome. But there is a point where self-development is limited, right? So first of all, it's yourself. And when you keep working on yourself, at some point, it's going to be hard to really know something because you always think you can be better and you can, you can always get better. But there is no foundation if you keep reinventing yourself all the time. So self-development is very helpful, but it is not the, the foundation of your life. This is why I turned to spirituality. Now, I turned to spirituality at several times in my life. And for a long time, I was talking about the universe or I was talking about, you know, Christ consciousness, all of these great terms. But... And, and it's wonderful. And, and if that's what works for you, great, awesome. But if you are still in your head, if you are still using your mental capacities to live your life instead of your heart, instead of your spirit, then I'm going to ask you to maybe look a little bit further and especially look at the things that you're resisting. 
whether it's a, a faith like Christianity or something else. But I'm asking you to really look deeper and further. This is the time to do it. This is exactly why this is happening because on the planet, there are so many people who really need to go inside and really check for themselves who they are being on a spiritual sense, okay? So I love you all. If you have any questions, I'm here for you. And I promise you to not wait two days to make videos anymore. Bye-bye.